one is your girl Tyra and as you can see I got braids. The braids are back and I did them myself. I'm convinced I can do anything at this point and by the end of this video you'll be able to do your own knot list too because if me a first time braider someone that's never braided their hair before can get these results a first try you can do it too and I'm gonna teach you. Before we get into braiding I'm gonna tell y'all everything y'all need to have. The first thing that you need is braiding hair obviously. I use the Rua pre-stretch braid in 24 inches in the color 1B. If you want your braids to have curly ends like mine, you're gonna need some curly hair. You can either use synthetic or human hair. I use synthetic because, you know, I was trying to save a little coin. This is the synthetic hair that I use. It's by Organique, Organic, however you wanna say it. This is the packaging that it came in and I got their deep bulk in 18 inches. Also gonna need some braiding gel. I use two different ones. The first one is from Shine and Jam. I use this on the roots and the second one is from Kiss. This is their braiding gel in Extreme Hold and I use this on the length of my hair to like tame fly away. Also gonna need some clips. I like these duck bill clips because it just holds the hair really, really nicely. This is a major key. You need a good parting comb. I recommend having two because you might lose one while you're braiding your hair. It happened to me, it might happen to you. And lastly, to finish the braids off, you're gonna need some foam. This one is by Kiss. It is their foam mousse. It's like styling and old. <laughs> oh yeah, and I also recommend getting an oil for the synthetic ends. I don't have it with me right now, but I'll insert a picture right here. Now that you know the products, let's get into the prep work because you can't just jump on in and braid your hair. You gotta wash it and you gotta deep condition it to make sure it's all nice and good so you know be in these braids for a hot little minute next you want to blow out your hair well you don't have to blow out your hair but i blow out my hair just to make my job a little easier you're the one that's braiding your hair so you know you decide if you want to blow it out or if you don't want to blow it out to blow my hair i just did my basic routine with my dyson high speed low heat and now let's get into parting i will honestly say parting is the hardest and the most important part when it comes to doing your own hair i'm gonna keep it real with y'all did not film me parting my hair because it was just too much it honestly took me four hours to do my parts i wasn't filming it <laughs> i'll consider these braids medium i have six rows on each side so 12 across and for the back i have two rows from my ear down and i don't know how many rows i have on the top <laughs> i would say there are three major keys when it comes to parting the first being starting off with a middle part and just take your comb Split your hair down the middle. If your hair is parted down the middle, you want to set your foundation part, and your foundation part is the part that goes from ear to ear. Once you have that bottom set, you can decide if you want to do two or three rows. Like I said, I did two. You can then go in and do horseshoe parting, which is a U part from you know one side of your head to the other. So you know if you start right here, it's gonna connect on this side, and you know just keep going around until you have all your rows. If horseshoe parting is too difficult, you can just split the front of your hair from the back, from here down, from here down, split that into one section, one section, then you have your back section. And you can just make your rows and then the front, you can just make your rows and you know, hopefully they connect. <laughs> the last key is to do a brick layer pattern. So. What that means is your parts is just gonna look like bricks. So if you have three braids on the bottom row, you're gonna have four, then you're gonna have five, then you're gonna have six. And the braids are just gonna fall in between each other. Here's a little parting hack. If you have TikTok, first follow me if you don't already. That, that That's number one. <laughs> there is a filter on TikTok for small knotless braids. So you can just use that filter as your guide when it comes to parting. Mind blown. I did test it out in the beginning, but then I just gave up and did my own thing and you know, it worked. But the filter works too if you need a little extra help. Another parting hack if you don't wanna use the TikTok filter, take your phone or your iPad, pull up the camera and set it up behind you and mirror it to your computer or your TV so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna insert a picture because I did try that too, but I didn't like that, so I just, did the old fashioned way, went into my bathroom, the mirror in front of me and you know, the bathroom mirror and I parted my hair that way. That's my method of choice, but you know, there are so many different methods to use when you're parting your hair. So if you don't like one, you can just try another. Now let's get into the braiding because I know that's why you're all here. But you know, the prep work was important too. And now that I have that, oh, let's braid.
this is how I add in my hair. You see, when the hair is like this, wait, no. When the hair is like this, I take this strand, add it to these two pieces, and to secure it, you're just gonna cross it over and over. I don't normally braid like this, so I feel like once I'm at a decent spot, I turn the braid over and braid this way. Cause that's the way I like to braid. That feels most natural to me. And I can braid a little faster. This tripod will come in handy. I'm using a tripod, I use a door handle. You just gotta get stuff done. Cause I don't have one of them braiding racks. So put some hair on that tripod too. For my light, wherever I put whole hair, I'm putting hair. Towel rack, chair, drawers, everywhere. I am making progress. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run out of braiding hair though. This is all the hair that I have left for these braids. How many is it gonna be? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is not enough hair for five braids. So we're taking a trip to the beauty supply store. Let's go to the store. Got the goods. I didn't film in a beauty supply store because it just, was not the place and yeah i was just getting one pack of hair i honestly need to start buying hair online again because it's a lot cheaper it's like 50 percent off online versus going to the beauty spot store to get it the last row oh my gosh it's been a long time coming i've been using the kiss braiding gel on the length of my hair and the shining jam on the roots because this isn't as heavy as this is but I'm gonna just take a little bit of this. I don't know why I have all these flyaways. I'm just take a, a very, 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 very tiny amount. Just to really hold these flyaways down. So for the top row, it's important to connect it. I'm gonna just follow the parts that are on the other side. And hopefully it lines up. I did not need to add in as much hair as I did, but at least I know for next time. I'm basically braiding my own hair right now because these pieces aren't really adding any thickness to the braids. I'm gonna show y'all two more times how to start these braids. You wanna split your hair into three sections. One, two, three. I start my braid by going over. I'm gonna braid down a few times. Going in with the first strand. I'm gonna put it in the middle. And to seal it in, I'm gonna go over it and braid. Hopefully that made some sense. Going in with braiding here I'm gonna place it in the middle so the hair that I'm adding in it's right here and it's right here and just a carrot I'm gonna take this and go over and go over 
that's really all there is to it. It's gonna take you a few tries to get the hang of added in hair, but once you figure it out, it will be smooth sailing. Last braid. I'm gonna try to show y'all one more time. And you see that the braid is seamless. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm gonna show y'all how I feed in a curly piece. So I'm gonna just split this to a decent size, about this big. These are the strands that I have left. I'm gonna add the curly piece to the thickest strand. I'm gonna offset it a little bit so the curly end could be longer. And I'm gonna just pinch it in how I would normally. And braid down. To secure the curly end, I'm gonna just braid down until I have no more hair because I found that's the best way to do it. In the beginning, I tried the whole tying the braiding hair in a knot that wasn't working out. I also tried sealing it with a flat iron. Didn't like that way either, so I just braid until I can't braid no more. And boom, curly end. So all of the braids are in. I am honestly so shook. Even though I never braided before, I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. People told me I was crazy. I might be a little crazy, but I knew I could braid my hair. So now I'm gonna seal the hair in. I'm not gonna dip them because I don't wanna dip my own hair into very, very hot water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steam it with a towel. Dip the towel into the water and do it this way. All right, that's done, I'm gonna go in with some mousse. I should apply this before steaming, but I can always steam again. I'm gonna try out this mousse. This is my first time using it. It smells good. Ooh, this smells real good. So I'm back to close out the video. Yes, I took off my crest on nails because I don't like having no nails while I'm editing, which is what I'm doing right now. As always, I'll be filming for TikTok and YouTube at the same time. So sometimes I'll forget to turn on my main camera for YouTube, but I'll record it for TikTok. The last clip that I filmed on my camera was me putting the mousse in my hair, but the last step was really putting the oil on the synthetic ends. It's been a week now with these braids. And the synthetic ends are still holding up. The braids still look good, you know. I did my little one too on these braids. Since having these braids in for a week, honestly, just doing these braids in general, I'm gonna share some mistakes to avoid. The first mistake that I made was feeding in the curly hair a little too late. So I would just add the curly hair a little higher up just so it can have more room to be secured. Back braids, that's like when I really didn't know what I was doing. You can see with this braid to secure it, I wrapped the ends and I secured it with a flat iron. I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. The best way to finish off your hair is to braid all the way down to the ends. And as you saw in the previous clips, I don't dip my hair in hot water. One, because I have the curly ends and two, since my hair is so long, I don't wanna dip my hair into boiling hot water. But steaming it doesn't really lock it in super well. So what I do is I'll fold the hair like this and I'll just dip this section into the hot water and that seals in the braid. 
I forgot to do it on this side. And as you can see, like this braid is coming a little bit undone, but since I steamed it, it's not all the way undone. This side is all nice and good because I dipped the very end in the hot water. Another tip is to buy extra braiding hair. So if you think you need four packs of braiding hair, buy five because you don't wanna have to go back to the beauty supply store. As far as maintenance goes, I just sleep with my hair in a bonnet scarf combination. Um, I don't think. I think that's about it. If there's anything I didn't cover, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. As always, all the products will be linked in the description box. I really hope this video was helpful. I'm still shook. Like every time I see my hair, I'm like, I did that. I did that. I really feel like it's my job to teach y'all how to do your own hair because I know a lot of people don't wanna pay these prices that these braiders are charging. It's getting a little spooky out here. And you know, braiders be canceling on you last minute. So if that ever happens to you, you know, you got this video. Or if you wanna refresh your braids, you know, just by doing top rows in the perimeter, you can rewatch this video. So you know, refreshing up your braids, not pay that refresh fee. This video is really just for my girls that want to know how to do their own hair let me stop chatting because i would really be here all day but yeah that is it for today's natural hair 101 video with your girl tyra may the one and only i'm just so happy like i i did that let me know what style you want to learn how to do next and i will teach it to myself so i can teach it to y'all and you know we could be slaying together Am I having a heat flash? See why braids cost how much they cost. Put that thing right back on. Right back on, because I ain't glued these nails on. That looks janky. Like, who want to book with me? Come with your hair pre-parted, blow-dried, washed, conditioned. No extra people. You can't be on your phone. <laughs> who did that? Me. I did that. I love saving a good home. I need to be on an island with these braids. I need to go to the beach. I need to go somewhere. The people need to see these braids. I feel like these are easily $300 braids right here. What am I saying? Oh.